Hey guys, um, how's it going? So, it's been a minute since I posted. I've been busy with school, if I'm being completely honest with you. Um, ignore all the background noise. So anyways, I did say I would do a review on the Bogan, or just a quick overview, and uh, everything, basically, about it. So, I'm going to dive right into it. I'm going to do a little disclaimer right now. I'm not going to be testing it, because, I mean, first of all, you've seen it in operation. Um, and, uh, my stereo smells like it's on fire. We're gonna combust, so I'm gonna deal with that. So, um, yeah. You'll see, you've seen it in action in my fire alarm tests and flight system, so... I'm just gonna go do a quick overview of it. So with the unplugged, we're gonna start from, uh, left to right. So over here, you got a power LED right here. Um, there's a terminal block here, but I just have that unplugged, because these actually do unplug. I have to grab that, but... It still functions at normal. Um, here we have the override port. We have a trunk slash page port. Um, this is actually the um, tone switch, or the program switch with the LED laying, you know, if it's in program mode. Um, right here is the tone. This is how loud the tones are. You just put the screwdriver in and turn the um, things, or the little potentiometer, whatever it's called. Down here we have um, change it from Vox to, uh, I forgot what that is. Whatever, you can change between these two settings. It's all in the manual. Pretty good manual. Um, here's where you can switch it from trunk to page port or station. All right, now I'm gonna pause this video right here for one second. I explained this entire port wrong, so it's, I'm cutting this out and putting this in here instead. Now, when I explain this interface type, um, this is how your um, phone system, whether it's a VoIP system, an analog, system, whatever. This is where it's going to connect through RJ11. So if you're using like a VoIP system, you, you are going to need an ATA or something in that realm that converts it to an analog RJ11 cable. So here we have the interface types. We have the trunk page port or the station port. So now if you're using the station port, this is for an analog system. So for example, um, my ATA is analog so it converts my VoIP into analog so I have it plugged into here because how station port works is basically if it detects the line is ringing it's going to answer it automatically and just use the good old dry audio going through it and that's the end of that however if you're using the trunk slash page port that is where this switch there's three little sections you can either select trunk page port or station so if you have in the center you're using page port it's going to go down here it'll either use Vox or contact closure so Vox is, I'll get to in a little bit, and uh, con uh, contact closures of two pins, which should be this one and this one at the ends close. So if, as you can see, this diagram right here is explaining the trunk port on loop start or ground start. So here up here we have loop start, and you can actually see right here is basically, you know, when the loop start um, opens, the page ends, as you can see right here, basically. And that's really it. It's just when it detects the um, resistance between tip and ring, it activates and allows you to page through. And when it stops, it stops. Now if I scroll down a little bit more, ground start is basically the unit supplies 24 volts talk um, battery. And then it, you know, ignore my heater in the background. Um, this is for an AC ground for the um, PBX unit. So ground start. Now when you're using ground start, you got to make sure it's grounded, you know, using the ground start pin and whatnot. Um, I'm not too sure about how ground start and loop start are, like, I'm not, like, you know, completely sure, or I'm not, like, you know, do this at your own risk. And like I was saying, um, pay, if you have it, the switch in the center, you got page port, you got um, contact, so if, you know, no DC voltage, if the two connect, uh, conductors, you know, are basically closed, you know, the contact shorting, you know, it starts the page and when it removes the page ends and then for Vox if you have it selected the Vox the switch this way and page port in the center you're basically using the Vox timer to end at the page basically so if it doesn't detect sound for a little while like a few seconds it's going to automatically hang up and like I was saying the analog station port if it's down at the bottom it's just using the tip and ring that nothing else and it detects a ring, then it's going to answer basically. So it does still have the um, Vox timer on it. That's just, you know, 
set default box timers. So if you're not talking for 10 seconds, it's going to automatically cut. So it's pretty much that's how it works. Um, it's kind of confusing. You can find this uh, manual for the Bogan UTI on their website. Um, it does have everything you need to know, um, programming, and just overall details. So this is the Bogan UTI 1 PDF. Um, limiter threshold, uh, threshold um, that is just, you know, when you're speaking into it, it limits it so it doesn't blow out all your speakers and whatnot. If we keep moving, here's the music input, your left and right, so you use your RCA ports, put, plug it in there to uh, 3.5 millimeter, and then you can play music over your speakers. Uh, you can control the music level and the mute level, so mute level is when you're making a page, um, you can have like the music quietly in the background, or you can just have it completely zero and um, off. So then last we have your speaker connection, so we have on this side, this, these four is your um, page and music, so you'll get music through here and your pages. And this is where you get pages only, so you would probably use this on like an outside type deal. So if you have outdoor speakers, you probably just do page only, unless you want music over them. So these are self amplified up to like 24 volts, I believe it was. So you have your, your ring tip and then um, the plus and minus for the volts. That's on both sides. So for my. Um, setup I am using a stereo so I'm just using the ring and tip I believe that is or the tip and ring of these first two terminals to go out to my stereo so I can play music and get pages over it um, I'm gonna come back um, right over here where we have normally closed normally or common normally open ground start so that's all your auxiliary um, contacts so I'm yeah, it's kind of not really needed. It, it, this could be a description down here um, from the manual. Um, I'm not sure, but it's not like, you know, it's not my use. Anyways, tones over here, you can have um, Night Ringer at, well, NR is Night Ringer, common, and then um, over here is, what is that, tone? So Night Ringer is basically if the phone is ringing and it's like after hours, it will put, the, like, simulate a telephone ringing over the speakers so you know like the phone's ringing and then tone when you know tone and closed it plays a tone that you selected so that is just like a basic overview of just all the ports on it um, and then yeah so if you just want to pick this up just for like just the page and that's really it um, you can you just put a um, phone into override here I have a analog phone this is not plugged in, so it's not going to do anything. So when you just pick up, it's going to play the um, tone, and you just speak in here like normal. So, yeah. Also, you program with the override port, so you'd switch this to program. The light will turn on. When you pick up, you're going to get tritone beep um, out of here. And then in the manual, there's a programming guide that's just basically just press like 0, 1 for something. You press pound, you'll get a tri beep, and then you basically program that one section. So... It's pretty easy, it's very easy programming for what you want. So like you would say like um, double beep for chime. You, you just, or double beep for pre-page tone. You dial like 16 and press pound and then it's saved. So yeah, at the end of it, here it is. Um, there's a fuse actually on the side too. And uh, this is the power cord, so it's built in power supply. So your North American type style plug and it's you know hardwired into the thing so that's one drawback i don't like but in that this is actually a very small unit like here's a little screwdriver uh then like you know yeah it is heavy though it's about five pounds it's all metal here's the back of the unit and uh, yeah it's wall mountable so hello everyone uh it's sorry about that cut um it's actually a few days later i got my stereo repaired and uh Looks like this video is going out a little bit later than I thought it would be. Um, so, anyways, I have the same phone. Um, the Bogan is just mounted back where I normally have it, and that is in my little server room, I guess you can call it. Um, so this is where the feed goes to the AdTran, where it connects to my actual VoIP system. Um, I, I have it connected to the station port, like I said last video. But uh, real quick, I'm going to show the override port in action and uh, how this can be used um, by itself. So this is audio in from um, an aux cable. 
and this is audio out to my stereo. And now you can see why I have this one little terminal block out, because this phone likes to collide with it. It would not charge, so I just didn't feel like shifting it down and moving all that, so I just took the block out. So if I were to lift this handset, oops. Now, I don't know if you heard that, but um, that was the uh, tone, the prepage tone of the Bogan built in. Um, I'm actually going to turn that up a little bit using the screw terminal, so I'm going to turn that up to about like 7, 8. So when I pick up, you should be able to hear the speakers go off. And now we can speak into the mic normally. So you can hear me making a page. I don't know how well you can actually hear that, but uh, yeah. So yeah, that's how simple it is. So when I pick it up, it activates. You can actually see the limiter in action. So that protects the, um, what's it called, the stereo. So that's good. Um, so yeah, like I was saying, um, when you go into programming, the LED comes on. You can see the LED turn on for program. And when I actually take this off the handset, you can hear it go um, do a tritone. So I'm going to um, take the phone off the um, hook. Oops. There we go. That was acting weird. If I do 28 pound, you just heard the two beeps. I'm gonna hang up, switch it into run mode, and we're gonna close these two contacts. Okay, I got my wire in place, and if I put this into the little contact, I don't know if you can hear that or not. The tone is playing. So yeah, now I'm gonna set that back to the default so you can actually hear what the default sounds like. I'm going to go back up to here, turn this out of program. So I'm going to put it in. And you just heard the tone playing real fast. So that is just a quick little demo of that. Um, Night Ringer, if I just, oops, it just activated again. So Night Ringer. Like I said, it plays like a telephone ring. So if you're at a, so like if a store at night needs to, you know, know the phone is ringing, uh, you know, that's how it's gonna be, you know, simulated. So just like that. All right, so let's see um, how it operates normally on my flip system. So I'm gonna plug this back into the station port. Okay, so I'm gonna put this back to where it normally is, and uh, yeah. Now, for some odd reason, um, I've been having the Bogan acts a little bit weird with my uh, system. So basically, you know how you make a page, it does its own pre-page tone. Yeah, for some reason on the station port, for me, it does not make its own tone to, uh, for the pre-page. Which kind of worked out for me actually, because I'd rather use my um, own tones that are um, generated off of my own voice system, and that's how I get you know like um, my Rowlin tones, my um, other Bogan Multicom tones, and whatnot. So I'd rather that, to be honest with you. Um, if you want to hear um, or see a little bit more of this system, uh, the Bogan UTI, go check out Mr. Mercury Fix It. He has some pretty amazing stuff with this system. He used it a little bit, uh, and then he moved on to a Avaya. Um, use PAM, which basically these two are used in um, Home Depot. So, um, you know, if you hear it, we hear those like it's like a chime pre page or like a, just a beep. That is mostly this device does the chime and the other one does the beep. So, real quick, we're going to see this system in action. Uh, you'll be able to hear the relays when I start our page. Here we go. So, I'm going to use this phone for once. I don't know if we heard it there, um, but it's going to start echoing. Can I just mute this? So, you're going to hear it from here. So, yes, you just heard the um, Bogan UTI, not Bogan, Bogan Multicom um, pre-tone, pre-page tone. And uh, what also just happened there was that this Bogan just hung up automatically because it did not detect any sound for 40 seconds or so around there. 
if it doesn't hear sound um, for like you know 15 seconds actually it hangs up but 40 seconds it automatically um, cuts the call because it's running too long which I program that you can change that so yeah so you just heard the Bogan uh, Multicom 2000 tone and uh, I'll do it again from this phone over here so you can hear it from out here if I dial my paging code and we are now paging on the Bogan so yes there's no need to you know do that thing where people say oh you can't just put the handset down you have to push the button in um, because well number one there's a limiter on this so that's going to protect it and you can actually change that threshold from minimum to maximum I actually have that down the center so just medium protection so that's going to protect from like blowing out speakers and stuff because it's a limiter so other than that it does your basic uh, you know music interruption and uh Whatnot. I do not have the um, non-copyrighted on my computer currently, so I'm not going to do a test of that. You can actually see that in one of my fire alarm system test videos, I believe. No, it was actually my VoIP system test where I had music playing and showed the um, interruption. So, yes, that's basically it for this Bogan UTI. Um, it's a really good device. I really suggest it. Um, really, it's just plug and play. You can just plug it in, plug in your speakers plug in a little phone for that and you can go um, just page basically if you want to go more in depth with like an actual system then by all means go for it so yeah I do suggest this um, system and uh, it's really awesome in my opinion so that's really it for today um, if you want to see anything else in specific um, yeah this is a pretty choppy video it's not one of my best um, but whatever it gets the point across of this device and uh, yeah so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.